small business. She knows the school system. She even knows the sheriff's department. She has the listening skills that will make her a skilled, careful, and caring council member. But just maybe, I'll let her speak for herself. <laughs> so I'm proud and happy to introduce Paula Perotti, our next council member. I'm Paula Brody, and it's a pleasure to be here today with family, friends, and supporters to kick off my campaign for Goleta City Council. My husband Peter and I have lived here 27 years, it's true, and we've raised two daughters, and we know firsthand what's great about Goleta. The public school system, the recreational opportunities, and small town feeling where neighbors know each other and you get a real sense of community. I work right here in Old Town, Goleta, right across the street actually. And um, I'd like to say that I am a proud Goleta resident through and through. As someone who has worked in a family-owned high-tech Goleta business, I understand the needs and challenges of local businesses. Navigating the seas of regulation, parking issues, and trying to pay a decent wage so as to attract and keep good employees trying to find housing that they can afford. I've worked for the last 15 years at all levels of PTA, including district president, responsible for 64 schools countywide. I've worked to secure safe routes to schools, fought for funding to rejuvenate and revitalize Brandon School, and worked for increased parent involvement in their children's education. I understand that families needs to provide their children not only with high quality and safe educational settings, but also crossing guards, safe roads, sidewalks, and buses to get them there and home again safely. Through my work with the Community Action Commission of Santa Barbara County, I advocate for families with special needs, children that have special needs, and I help them get the services that they need. And I have worked successfully with local and state government to lobby for legislation to slow traffic, to ensure safe schools, and to get stop signs at a very busy I also serve on the county's first five advisory board, and this is a partnership with individuals and organizations countywide to support the well-being of children prenatal through the age of five. I'm convinced that people like me need to step up to local government, and that's why I'm running. I'm confident that I can offer even more by serving on the community. Goleta is our home. This is, this is a wondrous place. We have some mountains and beaches. Um, we have Gersh Park. We, we have Elwood Mesa Preserve. And we have this vital old town and our many local businesses. Goleta is the gateway to our university. Goleta is the gateway to our airport. And Goleta is the gateway to our beautiful Gaviota Coast. Goleta truly is the good land. And I'm proud to stand here today and say we want to keep it that way for ourselves, our families, and we want to make sure that we make Goleta a better place for our children. I agree with my friends and neighbors that we have some challenges. And that's why I'm committed to preserving our environment and ensuring that development respects natural and agricultural resources. I'm committed to improving community safety, focusing on transportation options, pedestrian and bicycle routes. I'm committed to being responsive to residents' needs for basic and vital services, especially in the face of our economic challenges. 
I am confident that we can meet our challenges the old-fashioned way by working together with friends and allies like everyone here. I'm honored by the endorsements I already have received from the Democratic Party, the Democratic Women, the Sierra Club, the Women's Political Committee, and so many individuals in and out of the leader. I know from a lifetime of experience that there is one very effective way to get things done by working together. And this kind of support is a great start. I'm excited to, about our very energetic um, grassroots campaign. We have an ambitious schedule. It's based on my walking throughout Goleta, attending coffees and neighborhood gatherings and participating in forums. I want to share my views and I want to hear the needs and views of Goleta residents and businesses. But I'll talk to as many Goleta residents as I can and I'm going to knock on as many doors as I can and I'm going to do whatever it takes to get our message out. And together, with your help, I'm absolutely sure that we can win. And we can continue to move Goleta forward. Thank you. Any questions from the press while we take care of that? Uh, Paula, what what will you need to see to justify a zoning change for Bishop Ranch? What will convince you to do that? I see, I don't, uh, personally, I, you know, the general plan took many years and a lot of um, input from staff and residents and I see no need to um, make any changes to the general plan in the foreseeable future. All right, thanks. That's a direct quote.